Welcome back. We've been learning about Old Testament stories and how they remind us of Jesus. Does anybody know what this is? Yeah, the Bible. And we know that everything in the Bible is true. Today we're going to be looking and our story today is found here. But before I tell you where our, we're reading from, we're going to play a little game to see if you can guess the man's name that the story is about. Your first clue is there's water in the story. There are fish in the story. There are evil people again in our story. The man's name has five letters. There's a city in the story, Nineveh. And the story is full of guts and slime and even vomit. If you guess Jonah, then you're exactly right. Today we're gonna to be talking about Jonah and we're gonna hear his story from the Bible. God wanted Jonah to go and to preach to the people of Nineveh because of all the bad things they were doing. But Jonah decided that he didn't want to do that, so he ran away instead. Jonah thought he could run far enough away that he could run from God. So Jonah sailed away on a boat in the other direction away from Nineveh. So get up quick, and I want you to run in place like you're running away from just like Jonah did. Well, Jonah didn't want God to find him, so he went inside the boat and, and he hid there. He lay down and fell fast asleep. Can you pretend like you're fast asleep? Well, a big storm blew in and the sailors were so afraid that the boat was gonna sink. What does a storm sound like? What do you think about when you think about storms? Do they make you afraid? You think about thunder or lightning. Well, they came and they asked Jonah to pray for the storm to go away. But Jonah knew that God had sent the storm. Can you rock back and forth like you're on a boat? Jonah told them, that told the sailors, hey, throw me overboard and the storm will stop. I'm the one that brought this. Well, Jonah sank down into deep in the water and God sent a big fish to swallow him up. And Jonah sat inside the belly of that fish for three days and three nights. And while Jonah was inside the fish, he had plenty of time to think about what he'd done and to pray. He realized that running away from God was wrong and he prayed to God and asked God to forgive him. Well, God heard Jonah's prayer and guess what happened next? The fish spit Jonah out safely onto dry land. You think he was happy to be out of the belly of that fish? Well, he sure was. And Jonah obeyed God and went straight to Nineveh and told the people there to believe in God. And the people listened to everything Jonah said, stopped doing the bad things they were doing and believed. What an amazing story. I want you to look at the picture on your screen and we've hidden crosses in this picture for today's story. The crosses remind us of Jesus. Look at the picture. Who sees a cross? Do you see the cross in the picture of the whale? Great. Well, how many days did Jonah spend in the belly of the fish? That's right, three. Did you know that when Jesus died on the cross, he spent three days in the grave? Jonah emerged from a fish, but Jesus emerged from a grave. That's why we say he conquered death. He truly died. He was not alive when he was placed in the grave. But after three days, he walked out of the grave and he was alive. He won and death lost. He did that all because he loves us and he wants to take our punishment and our sins from us, our death. I want you to look at the cross and the picture on the sign to Nineveh. Yeah, Nineveh was a place that was full of sin and disobedience. It was an evil place. The people of Nineveh were so evil that they killed God's people, the Israelites. Nineveh was an enemy of Jonah and his people, but God showed mercy on Nineveh. What does it mean to show mercy? Well, mercy is to show kindness, compassion, favor. It means to pardon, to not give the punishment that is due or that's deserved. And God showed mercy on Nineveh, the Israelites' enemy. He was kind and compassionate and gave them a chance to believe in him and to change. God shows great mercy on us. You see, we all sin. We're, we sin because we're God's enemy. But God is kind and he's compassionate and he doesn't give us the punishment we deserve for our sin. You see, God forgives us even when we are his enemy. He sent his son, Jesus, to take our punishment and said, God is merciful. Do you see the cross in the picture of Nineveh? Great. 
God sent Jonah to tell the people of Nineveh that God loved them, and Jonah was sent to be a prophet, which is someone that tells people about God. After Jonah went to Nineveh and preached God's love to the people, God loved and forgave the people of Nineveh. Jesus was sent to die for God's enemies, which is us. You see, Jesus is a true and better prophet than Jonah because he willingly went to the, his enemies to love and forgive them. Even though we are God's enemies, God loves us and he forgives us. What's a verse that we know that tells us that God loves and forgives us? Will you say it with me? John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. You see, God came to the world not to judge it and not to condemn it, but to save us through Jesus. In your packet or online, you can find this devotional. And it's meant to sit on your table at home. And when your family's gathered around the table, you can talk about the story of Jonah, and most importantly, how that story reminds us of Jesus, our rescuer. So you'll have a chance this week to show mom and dad where Jesus is in the story of Jonah. Reading the Bible helps us to listen to God. So this week, I wanna challenge you to read the story of Jonah from your Bible. Read Jonah chapters one through four with your family. Reading the Bible helps us to listen to God. And because God is our king and we are his citizens, we wanna listen and obey. As you read Jonah, pray about who God wants your family to reach out to and who does he want your family to share the good news with. Would you bow your heads with me and pray? God, we thank you for today. We thank you for the story of Jonah. We thank you for the example, Lord, that no matter what we do and no matter how we stray or when we don't listen, God, that you still love us, that you still care for us, that you still forgive us, Lord. And we thank you that we have that uh, security in you because of Jesus and the cross. Lord, we just pray that we would lean into you during all these times of uncertainty. Lord, that we would follow after you with all our hearts. We love you and we thank you for the gift of Jesus. In your name we pray. We're so glad that you joined us today. We hope that you come back next week to join us as we continue to look in our Old Testament stories and see how they point us to Jesus.